Want to know something positively disgusting? The average person sweats out about a half pint of perspiration each and every night. Want to know what that looks like? Seeing as how we spend almost a third of our life lying horizontally on a mattress, one would think it would stand alone atop our list of regular cleaning duties. But let's face it, we rarely think about cleaning the mattress. The problem is, once you strip away all the sheets, you're left with a mattress that has a cover that you can't remove. It's not like there's a zipper and you can simply unzip the cover and throw it into the wash. The sad truth is that once we pull all the sheets off, we tend to turn a blind eye to whatever nastiness might live atop our mattress. I know you don't want to admit it, but mattresses harbor spills, stain, dirt, dust, dust mites, and worse. So maintaining a clean mattress is important for several reasons, not the least of which is the fact that your partially clothed body is lying on top of it with only a sheet separating you from your mattress. Well, my beautiful and talented viewers, worry not because we here at the Clean My Space Institute, AKA my house, have put together a few helpful tips and tricks which will make cleaning and caring for your mattress a breeze. And if you stick around till the end of the video, I'll show you something that will enable you to never have to worry about stains, spills, and other crap on your mattress ever again. All right, let's get down to some maintenance tips. Vacuum the mattress. This is an important step because it removes the dust, dead skin cells, and other debris that lands on your mattress. Consider doing this every time you rotate your mattress or once a season. Now, the important part here is to use a clean upholstery attachment because remember, your vacuum sucks up all kinds of nasties and you specifically don't wanna be depositing those onto your mattress. We actually have a video on how to clean your cleaning tools and that video will actually teach you how to clean your vacuum brush attachment. So we'll link that to the end of this video. Deodorizing your mattress. You can fancify your mattress vacuuming by adding another step. And this is deodorizing. I guess with all that sweat, dust, and other fun stuff that your mattress handles, it can start to develop its own unique aroma. And to combat this, simply sift baking soda over your mattress, leave it for about 30 minutes, and then vacuum it up with that upholstery attachment. As you know, baking soda is a natural deodorizer, so it will definitely help neutralize any odors. But note that it won't really clean or remove any stains using this dry cleaning method. If you like essential oils, you can add five drops to the baking soda pre-sift, and you'll get to enjoy that lovely scent for a few nights thereafter. A scent I would use would be lavender, but you can use anything you like. Spot cleaning and stains. Stains come in three varieties, but only one usually ends up on your mattress. Those three varieties, protein stains, grease stains, and tannin stains. And the stains you'll see on your mattress are protein stains. Protein stains consist of things like blood, sweat, vomit, urine, and other bodily fluids that we usually need to contend with. It's best to tend to any stains as soon as possible to avoid the stain from setting in. You have a much better chance of getting rid of it. Liquid stains need to be blotted up first with a cool, wet cloth, and then excess moisture can be blotted up with a dry cloth. Use a pressing motion rather than a circular motion to lift the stain to avoid further rubbing the stain in, which is what this will do. Also, remember that heat sets protein stains, so only use cold water when handling these. Now, fresh protein stains can usually be removed with a mixture of salt, baking soda, and water. So just create a paste of equal parts, rub it on the area, and then brush it off 30 minutes later. Then, use some cool water on a damp cloth to remove the excess and then allow the mattress to dry. If that doesn't work, upgrade your solution and try our favorite homemade stain remover, consisting of two parts hydrogen peroxide to one part dish soap. 
put a teeny tiny tad of that solution on the stain, gently apply it to the area, and then gently brush it in with a cleaning toothbrush, leave it for about five minutes, and then wipe it up with a cool damp cloth. This should also help with any unsightly discoloration. Some people love using enzyme cleaners to remove protein stains, and you're welcome to try this, they're highly effective. Just remember to use as little liquid as possible and ensure that your mattress is completely dry before using it again to avoid growing your very own colony of mold spores. Steam cleaning or deep cleaning. Now some folks swear by steam cleaning or deep cleaning their mattress, and yes, there is a difference. Steam cleaning is just covering the mattress with steam to kill dust mites, and extraction or deep cleaning is simply wetting the mattress and then extracting the moisture. Now, I know that mattresses don't do well with moisture, so I don't use either of those methods, even though I have access to both pieces of equipment. Now, I do know that there are professional service providers who do offer this, and for people with allergies or very difficult mattress stains, you might want to consider using a professional rather than hacking it on your own. These folks are trained and they have access to great extraction equipment. And here are a few other mattress cleaning pointers. Turn and or flip your mattress so it will wear evenly. And it's recommended that you do this at the turn of every season. Chad and I have about 100 pounds difference between us, so rotating the mattress means that we prolong the life of the mattress and even out the wear, or else this side is way deeper than that side. It takes us a grand total of 45 seconds to do. No big deal. No water on your mattress. Now, mattresses really don't like water, or liquid, I should say, and memory foam mattresses can't actually handle liquids at all because liquids will get trapped in that cellular structure and then the liquid has nowhere to go. On that note, never ever get your memory foam mattress wet. Now, if you need to spot clean, be super stingy with the liquid and blot like a madman or woman, you know. Use fans to dry the mattress. So if that mattress does get wet and you've blotted like a madman or woman, then you can crank the fans on to assist in drying time. And if you have access to a wet dry vac, of course, using a clean attachment, use it to help further extract the moisture. Don't even think about sleeping on mattresses until they are completely dry. Now, we've been asked several times how to deal with bed bugs. And this is a serious issue. It shouldn't be a DIY project. Act fast and call a professional if you think you have them. Have the professionals treat your mattress, the room, and any other areas affected in your house immediately. If you get them, you want them gone, and these are the guys that know how to do it. Now, you may recall at the beginning of this video that I mentioned something about a tip which would save your mattress from those spills and stains and everything else. Well, it's not really a huge secret, but a mattress protector is one of the best investments for your mattress. And there are a few different types, which I've linked for you below if you're interested in learning more. But trust me on this one, it's way easier to take off a mattress cover, throw it in the wash, or even throw it out if you did something real bad on it, than to have to fiddle around with your actual mattress. We've had this mattress for about four and a half years. Our mattress protector has taken a beating. The mattress looks brand new. Also, it's important to note that many mattress manufacturers strongly recommend using a mattress protector because stains on your mattress will actually void your warranty. Now, if you gagged at the thought of a gross mattress, maybe you should check out our pillow cleaning video. It's linked to the end of this one. And that brings us to our Clean My Space poll. Leave me a comment in the comment box below and let me know if you use a mattress protector. And if you do, has it saved your bacon on more than one occasion? Inquiring minds want to know. I hope you enjoyed the video and slash or found it helpful and slash or love the funky floral print on my mattress. If you did any of those three, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. You know what it looks like. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe, which is right down there to catch more of our great cleaning videos, including tips, tricks, product reviews, and a whole bunch of other great cleaning stuff. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.